This is Mrs Gray going through two methods of solving subtraction questions. The first being using a number line as a way to count on to get back up to the number. So for example, I would be starting from 17 and counting on to 17 to see how many it would take me to get up to 35. These quest this method is particularly good for solving questions where the children are solving change from money problems because um, you often find that they'll just look and go three take away one is two and then five take away seven two and they'll probably think come up with 22 um, which as you'll see in a moment is going to be incorrect so to start with this you need to put the smallest number the number that you are taking away at the beginning of the number line and then at the end of the number line is the number that you're trying to count on up to. And basically, I encourage the children to do jumps which they are comfortable with. So the first thing I would do is get to the next 10 after 17, which is 20. And in order to do that, I'll need to jump and add on 3. The next easy number, I'm going between 20 and 35 now, is I would probably go and add another 10 on there to take me up to 30. And then that leaves me to do a final jump of five. And then all I need to do is look and add up all the jumps together, find the total of them to see how many we added on to 17 in order to get 35. So we added 10, and 5, 15, add on a further 3 is 18, so the answer to 35 take away 17 is 18. Now I'm going to show you that same calculation using the formal written method column subtraction as well. So just like we did for column addition, I'm going to label the columns and it does matter this time which number goes on top of the calculation because for subtraction to work you have to have the biggest number on the top and take the smaller number away. So 35 must go on the top and 17 must go beneath it. So we start from the right hand side and we ask ourselves I have 5 here and I need to take 7 away is that possible? Now that is not possible because 7 is bigger than 5 so we need to go to the um, the tens column for a little bit of borrowing. So we're going to reduce the 30 to a 20 and give that 10 to the units column. So that, that becomes 15 subtract 7 which is 8 and then 2 take away 1 is one and as you can see both methods have give us the same final answer and once again just like with um, addition it is good that the children know a range of vocabulary to help them solve the questions when they move on to word problems and all of these different words here mean that you are going to carry out a subtraction question and just like in addition by the end of the year, the expectation is that you can subtract three-digit numbers th from a three-digit number mentally.